Hi, I'm Rhys Gadsby, Glenigan's Economic Analyst, and welcome to our November video, which covers the Glenigan Construction Review, reporting on construction activity over the past three months. Now, firstly, let's take a look at detailed planning approvals. These have been at high levels all year, and in the three months of November, they were up 38% on last year. This growth was mainly boosted by major project approvals, which were up 208%, but underlying project approvals also experienced a strong period, being 7% up on the previous year and 11% up on the preceding three month period. Now, during this period, the value of approvals was at its highest it's been for almost three years, and this was largely driven by major civil engineering schemes. Now, civil engineering approvals were up 272% on the previous year, and major projects were up 569% on the previous year. The government has granted approval to several major schemes in recent months, the biggest being Stonehenge Tunnel, which was £2 billion, but projects also included a £400 million power station in Nottinghamshire. Office detail planning approvals also experienced a terrific period, being 88% higher than the previous year. Underlying project approvals were 81% up, whereas major approvals doubled. Now, surprisingly, office approvals have remained very high all year round throughout the pandemic, and the levels during the three months of November were its highest since July 2007. How fast these projects progress to site is another matter, but this is extremely positive news to the office development pipeline, and it shows that the office sector, despite what people may think, is still very strong. Now let's move on to project starts during the period. The value of project starts during the three months of November was 14% lower than a year ago. Underlying starts were 17% down, whereas major projects actually performed quite well, which was 7% up on the previous year. Against the preceding three months, the industry, albeit at a much slower rate, is continuing to recover, with starts up 3%. Most sectors are still behind last year's levels, but there are some exceptions. Firstly, in the residential sector, project starts climbed 1% on the previous year. Underlying starts also climbed 1% and 30% on the preceding three month period. Residential starts still have some way to go to catch up to the levels we saw at the start of last year. And with our relationship with Europe still in question heading into the end of the year, economic uncertainty surrounding that, and the end of the stamp duty tax cut by the Chancellor in March, this is something that we'll have to watch out for heading into next year. Now, the other sector I think is, is worth highlighting is health. Underlying health starts, which totaled £624 million, were 36% higher than a year ago, despite being 7% down on the preceding three months. No major projects commenced on site for the sector during the period, but for underlying health starts, this is a really good three month period for the health sector. Next, let's take a look at main contract awards during the three months to November. The value of main contract awards, like project starts, fell 14% against last year. Underlying starts were down 4%, while major projects declined even further, declining 36%. But similar to starts, against the preceding three months, the recovery continued, and main contract awards against the preceding three months increased 11%. Now, despite consistent falls against the previous year, there were some sector bright spots. The first, again, is from the residential sector. Residential main contract awards were 47% higher than a year ago, with 256% growth in major contract awards paving the way for growth. Underlying residential awards were 27% up on the previous year and 17% up on the preceding three months. Now, this is fantastic growth for the sector, and it's very promising to see this heading into 2021. The health sector again also had a very promising period in terms of contract awards, with awards increasing 45% on the previous year to total £704 million. And the last thing I think is worth highlighting here is the hotel and leisure sector. Now, despite the strongest decline of any sector for starts, quite a few months now, it achieved growth in main contract awards, rising 1% on the previous year. So this is finally something positive to say about construction in the hotel and leisure sector. If you want to know more, download the latest construction review for free using the link below, where you will find more detail on construction performance in all sectors and regions across the country. 
But for now, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the festive period as much as you can, and we'll be back with more insight next year. Take care.